So what is the right way to use tables? You're actually seeing a fairly good use in the lab here where you're actually laying out data and it makes sense. We're going to do lab 9. So I'm going to create a new folder for this. And this is going to be a simple and fast one. I need to make sure that I have it up in the labs section. Okay, so I'm in lab 9 and I'm going to choose file, new, HTML, HTML5. We'll go ahead and use one column fixed centered and hit, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and let it add. Make sure it's HTML5. Add to head and hit create. Okay, so I'm going to just blow away everything that's currently in here because I don't need it. This one we're going to need to work on in split view. And so I want the container and I don't really need the content, so I'm going to toss that. I'm going to do some styles in here, but I'm not going to be really heavily into styles. So in the body, in my class here, I'm going to want to put in an H1 tag that will open things up so I can start typing over here. And I'm just going to put in table demonstration. Okay. And then I'm going to title the page table demonstration. And we're going to talk about how this really should be used. I'm going to go back to design view for a moment. And I'm not going to worry too much about layout or formatting here. I'm just going to insert. I don't need those. I'm going to insert a table. And I'm going to make it uh, four rows and three columns. and Or four rows, yeah, three columns, 80%. Uh, we'll put in a two pixel border, cell padding of three, a caption of my favorite kinds of caffeine. Before my doctor made me give it up. Comparison of caffeine sources. Why? Because it's fun. Okay. Um, I'm going to select my table by clicking in it, and that lets me select it down here, and I'm going to align it centered. All right, table layout should be used, tables shouldn't be used for layout, they should be used for content. And typically you're going to have table headers, which are both the top and the side here. So this would be caffeine source, taste, buzz factor. And down here I will have what I actually, some of my favorite sources will say McDonald's latte, Keurig, Dunkin Donuts, Half, calf, and green tea, and herbal tea. Notice that when I hit tab, it keeps going. Taste, love, like, 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 love. especially if it's Tivana Orange. Buzz factor, high, medium, low, very low, and non-existent. 
I think I spelled that wrong. Sort of thing happens frequently. How do you check spelling? F7. Or commands check spelling, which should have been shift F7. that one is and sometimes when you see funky things like this where it's not giving the right spacing oh I put a paragraph in there I don't want a paragraph in there a paragraph gives me extra padding and this is why you need to be able to read and fix code okay so I now have my table it is important to note and this is an important usability thing that you should label things that are headers as headers, which is both across the top why did it do that? Okay, let's try that again. So I should have done it right here. Header, 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 and make sure you close the headers too. Header, header, header as opposed to detail. Notice it's automatically going to change your um, formatting. Now these are all headers as well, and it's important because it, it matters for readers for the blind. So this is going to be a header also. So change all the appropriate row and column headers to be headers. Don't leave the old code in there. And you have to do this in the code. Knowing Dreamweaver is great, but if you don't, if you're afraid to get into the code, you're never going anywhere in web design. You have to be able to get in and do simple modifications like these. Okay, so you can see that that's changed. I don't really want these centered. I do want these centered. So the easiest way for me to fix that is for me to create a class up here in the styles. And I frequently do this so that I will have a uh, class. Um, we'll just call it source. And we'll say that I want uh, text align left color. Let's have a nice brown because it's like caffeine-ish. Reddish brown, kind of sort of coffee colored. Not really, but okay. So now to get this to apply, I can go in here and for each of these, I can do a class equals and just choose source. We'll see if I did it right. Yep, I did. So here I can just copy this. it in for each one. Ta -da, this is the way a table should actually be used. It should be used to list and sort data. You can do you can get really fancy in the formatting on this. Don't have to but you can. And um, so your assignment is just to make a table and change the heading and go ahead and apply a class to some of the headers or you can reformat using CSS some headers to do a little bit of color make it a little bit more interesting 
this is a real basic, the correct way to use tables. This is how tables should be used in your website.